Happy Finance Friday everyone, I'm Tom and this is Tom's Money Magic. Today I'm going to be chatting about 2021. I'd like to start by thanking all. I forgot to do it in my 50 subscriber special, but I would not have been able to reach that milestone without all of you. The fact that when I post a video, I now know that there will at least be a few people who will watch it and take something from it motivates me to make more videos. A few goals that I set at the start of the year were to get a job, upload 18 videos throughout the year, and ending the year with a certain amount in value of all of my shares. Towards the end of this year, I was able to get a job, and that will be something that I'll have to manage next year, but it will also help me to accelerate the amount of money that I can invest. The first two thirds of the year were very slow in terms of videos with seven videos coming out over the eight months, showing a projection of only 11 or 12 videos for the whole year, not the 18 that I wanted. I changed this pattern on the 10th of September, which is when this series of weekly videos started. Uh, this is the 17th in that series, meaning that I've gone above my goal by six videos in total this year. Due to school, getting a job, and probably a few other things, I don't think I'll be able to keep doing weekly videos next year. So I'm going to change it to one video every two weeks for Finance Fridays, and then I may also put some of my other time towards making podcasts or some other longer videos. My final goal was to end the year with a certain amount in portfolio value, the sum of all of my share values but I was unable to reach that goal. It was because I based my goal off of what the market had done last year. And even though it dipped down dramatically at the start of COVID, it rocketed back upwards um, towards the end of the year and ended up further uh, upwards than you would have expected at the start of the year. And the same trend would not have been able to continue into this year as well. I also made a mistake of basing my goal off of the actual um, market value instead of just the amount of money that I invested. Because that meant that at the end of the year when the market went down a bit, uh, I was unable to reach the goal and ended up uh, being even further away than I would have ended up with normally. Uh, so next year, I think I'll think about it for a bit longer and then make a more achievable goal and one that's only dependent on me choosing to invest instead of spending my money and not dependent on what the market does. So after talking about what goals I had for this year and what ones I'm setting for next year, I'd like to first talk about why goal setting is good. So making goals gives you something to work towards. It's an incentive to do the thing that you wanted to do. Making a goal that has a set time period or a due date can also be a lot more helpful because it helps you to plan out different aspects of that goal to make sure that you achieve it in a shorter amount of time. Writing down the goals and then putting them up somewhere that you would see them often also helps because then it would get into your subconscious and you would work towards that goal all the time. Setting goals also increases the sense of accomplishment when you finish that goal. If you'd like to check out my videos about goal setting, then I'll leave the links to them in the description. The next thing I wanted to talk about was how my content has changed this year. I firstly got some more equipment, so including a microphone that I purchased in May, and throughout the year I saved up some money and uh, bought a new iPhone in November. Uh, going roughly 50-50 with my parents to buy it. These two things have increased both the picture and audio quality of my videos, but I've also changed how I make them in the first place, and I've also changed my thumbnails. I changed over from iMovie to Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. Uh, I created an intro animation that came in uh, towards the end of the year, as well as I found some music to go with that, as well as doubling that up as some outro music. Uh, my thumbnails change from screenshots that I took of some things that I made in Word to proper sized thumbnails that I made using Canva. Uh, this is not the only way that my thumbnails have changed though. 
Uh, I also started putting some more video related photos in the picture, in the thumbnail, so it might be like a logo of a company that I talk about, or just like a graphic that explains what the video is about. Uh, I've also, throughout the last few videos, been trying to do some different faces for each thumbnail so that you can better differentiate each video. As well as trying to make my uh, thumbnails more interesting, I've also gotten a bit better at talking during my videos. Uh, going from more monotone speech to uh, more varied speech in terms of the tone of my voice. Uh, the final thing that I've tried to do was the new shorts format on YouTube. Uh, that was shown when I made my credit cards and IPO videos that will be linked in the description. Uh, but if you didn't know, uh, YouTube shorts are like YouTube normal YouTube videos, but they're in a um, portrait instead of landscape orientation, and they have to be 60 seconds or less. And finally, I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got for Christmas. So the first being the thing that's holding my phone up right now. Uh, I got a stand that has a ring light on top to uh, illuminate my face, and then it also has a phone holder on it. Uh, my mum showed her support for the um, Tom's Funny Magic by purchasing a red hat with my logo on it for me, but also a grey one for her. I'd like to quickly add that uh, this year, well two weeks ago, I created a Discord server and uh, you can check that out using the link in the description. That's all for me today, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content. Feel free to check out my website if you haven't already. See ya.